Hello everyone, welcome back, Coach Fury here and we're back today with my LA Waves Let's Play series. Um, I think last time we left this off, um, we were just in free agency, um, heading into the, the new season and kind of had a bit of a game crash I think and um, basically at the beginning and starting at sort of where we were. So going to quickly recap in terms of signings, we, we didn't make anything too drastic, um, didn't have any too any major signings over the free agency period which we were kind of hoping for we might have been able to have snagged um, another sort of top star to put with our roster um, unfortunately that didn't happen um, we were sort of stuck with uh, looking at the, the bargain basement of sort of minimum salary deals uh, we didn't really make any major signings um, the reason being is that there was sort of a, a top five top six players who went for huge amounts of money and then the the sort of the class that was below that I felt was not really worth the money that they were demanding so we, we kind of just shopped around and looked for some sort of minimum salary players so we'll quickly just sort of scan through and just have a look at who we picked up so first person we picked up was, was Andrew um, Goldlock just on a minimum salary deal just as a backup point guard for us um, the majority of the guys we signed are, are players we kind of expecting to play off the bench really um, no no major signings as I said um, we also picked up Austin Rivers I, I liked his defence and his ball handling ability again I don't think he's going to see too much playing time but uh, just a backup guard for us really Danny Green is probably going to be our starting um, shooting guard this year um, reason being is that like I said we didn't really make any major splashes but I like his defence stealing ability and he's got quite a high um, court intelligence and discipline, which I think would be handy. And kind of hoping that his size will benefit us there. Tim Hardaway Jr., we've, I think we may have had before. Um, again, just for defence, really. Um, we'll see how much playing time he gets. Um, if we scroll down, so we've obviously got still the likes of Ingram and Kirkland. Um, we also picked up DeMar Carroll, who has some good sting ability. So basically, most of the guys I picked up, I was looking for just good defensive players, some players who we could put into a game we're not going to cause too much problem for us because um, we've got the scorers, we've got the likes of Noel, Ingram, Wall who can score so we just need sort of peace players around that really um, we've obviously got Gobert and Noel like I said and um, Giesen as well, our draft pick from last year and um, be our main starter in the front court we also picked up Paul Gasol so bringing him back to the LA Waves um, <laughs> so it, Again, we think he's going to play minimal minutes, but just basically brought him in for his height and his experience. Um, he's still got some fairly good stats. He seems to be a fairly good rebounder. Still not too bad a defender, so hopefully he can just provide some bench minutes for us. So, looking at the sort of the season that's coming up, um, one thing I want to sort of just draw your attention to really was the season preview, just to sort of see where the um, the AI thinks we're going to be finishing up. Um, so quickly looking through the Eastern Conference, you can see the top ranked team is, is the Bucks. No surprise there with Giannis, um, sort of their main star, um, and Kevin Murray, the first round pick they picked up. And that, to me, that's a fairly good roster. That that could cause some trouble. They've seemed to have underperformed in sort of recent seasons. Um, Giannis had that injury, didn't he? But I kind of expect that. Seems like they're expected to sort of dominate the East this year. Um, sort of quickly going along. So Philadelphia is. A team that has massively underperformed. They've made some very strange moves. Um, I think when they first started in, in this Let's Play series, they had some really good young talent. They have obviously Embiid and Simmons, really, really good front court. The back court was an issue, and they, they, they tried to address it with Lowry, who I think is an aging player now, and Lamb. Um, question marks whether they're actually going to be second ranked, to be honest with you. Um, I won't go through all of these, but I'll just just do the top three for the East, and then we'll look at the West, really, because that's, that's what we really care about. Um, seems like they seem to think Detroit's going to have a good year. Um, no major real changes. Cook and Schlaul are sort of their draftees that they've brought in, and obviously they've still got Harris, Drummond, and Jackson, so if they've kind of underperformed recently, so we'll see. The East is definitely a lot weaker than it was. Um, see Cleveland here, who... Um, lost uh, LeBron James oh no they didn't lose LeBron James they kept him I thought they lost him um, LeBron James is aging still got Irving they've still got these players I mean I doubt that they'll be that far down I reckon they'll be around an 8th seed though so 
switching conferences, obviously the, the team to beat is, is Golden State. Um, this is their lineup. I mean, it's worth just saying that they've got Kevin Durant out injured probably for most of the season, but he'll be back for the playoffs. So if you take out uh, probably Knight and put uh, Durant in there, that's an incredibly good team. Curry, Thompson, Durant, Nurkic and Green. So they're going to be really tough to beat. You can see here Tony Parker we had last year, um, jump ship and went over there. So in terms of where they think we're going to line up, the AI seems to think that we're going to be the eighth seed in the West. I feel that they've kind of um, sold us a little bit short here because I think that we're going to be a little bit better than this. Uh, yes, we didn't really get any real major additions from last year. In fact, it's probably fair to say we've probably lost a little bit. But, you know, we've still got John Wall, we've still got Ingram, we've still got Noel, and we've still got Gobert. So, I mean, this lineup's wrong. I mean, we'll probably play John Wall, Green, uh, Gobert in there. Um, we'll probably play... Um, Noel at the four and then Ingram at the three um, with, with the likes of Geese and Kirkland and probably um, probably Gordlock because our main backup guard point guard really so they seem to think we're going to win 49 games um, we'll see how it goes and um, we'll be ranked second in our division according to this so I think my outlook for this season is I think we'll be a a good playoff team I think We'll try to make some moves, see if we can get some additional pieces. I mean, obviously, the, the big glaring hole that we have is, is we're going to be relying on Danny Green as our, our shooting guard, so we'll have to try and address that if we can. But in terms of how we line up, I'm you know I'm quietly confident of how we'll do this year. Um, you know, Like I said, this is the depth chart that I'm going to run with. We're going to run Wall, Green, Ingram, Noel, Gobert, Geeson and Kirkland's our main off the bench. With uh, Hardaway Jr. filling in as sort of the shooting guard, Goldlock as our point guard, but he's probably going to play very, very minimal minutes. And then Casal sort of playing a supporting role, and then the other guys playing minimal, minimal minutes. So that's how we're going to line up. We're going to enter into this season now. It's first game of the season here against Utah. Let's see how we get on. So let's play through this one for this sim and see if we can get on. So we're going to let the CPU control it, of course. Um, We'll play it in 2D. I know we've had issues in the past couple of seasons with playing it in 2D. Um, my computer seems to be struggling with that, but we'll see how it goes. So, in terms of how we line up, we've um, sort of mentioned ours. In terms of Utah, this is a team that we should really be beating. I mean, their front court is fairly solid in, in uh, Favors and Randall, but Hood is a pretty good shooting guard on this. But the other two positions, we should we should be taking it home really. So let's see how it goes. We'll, um, oh, we'll just uh, make sure that we've got the half time report on, yeah. So we're going to run it at speed 10 um, for the first half. We'll see how we get on. Um, obviously, if it gets tight, um, we'll, we'll slow the play down a little bit. But see if we can get a good start here at the opening game of the season. I mean, the main, main things for us this season are going to be hoping that John Wall carries on performing as well as he does. We've kind of want Ingram to take that next step up as well as um, Noel really, um, they're sort of the two guys we need to sort of make just a minimal step up. I mean, we know we're going to get with Gobert, um, we know we're going to get solid defence, not a lot of offence from him and it seems that we've just sort of been struggling in this opening um, opening period, we're sort of down by 9, um, down by 11 so hopefully we can sort of pull this back, a bit of a poor start to the season for us here. Looks like Randall's had a good start so far. He's five of eight, four rebounds as well, which is really good. Um, we haven't started as well. John Wall's shot one of six, which isn't good. We'll need him to improve that to get us back into this game. Seems like we're going to be down at the first quarter here by about six or so, or four. No, by about six, yeah, about five or six, hopefully. Um, Ingram's had a solid start, three or five. That's good. Um, Sort of in terms of the front court, I should have mentioned that I'm going to try and play Kirkland a little bit more at the four um, in some of the games. I feel that he's good defence might help there. He's got a good solid rebounding ability, so hopefully that, that works out well for us. Um, so we sort of take the lead here just into the beginning of the second quarter. We've got to try and obviously eliminate that slow start because that, against some of the better teams in, in the, uh, the league, that's going to cause some real issues for us. 
but we seem to have stretched out a little bit of a lead here, which is good. Kind of this, kind of what I expect us to do on home court in the opening game against Utah. Um, we kind of need to win these sort of games. Utah, I don't think, are going to be a playoff team, so hopefully we can um, get the result here and sort of move on and begin the season, really. It looks like Geeson's had a solid start as well. Seven points there, three rebounds as he's come off of, from the bench, so that's promising for us. Gobert's been a little bit hit and miss. I think it looks like he's um, hasn't hit a shot yet, and he's only really hasn't even grabbed a rebound yet. So that's not a particularly good start for for him. Um, we'll need him to sort of give us a little bit more. We kind of need him just to be that defensive presence and just grab rebounds and get blocks and and just shoot up a couple of shots when needed. But we kind of want the likes of John Wall and Ingram um, and Noel to sort of take um, take the uh, the advantage there and really sort of win us the games. So it looks like we're coming down to sort of the back end of the second quarter here, taking a bit of a nice 12 point lead, which is really, really good to see. Looks like John Wall stepped up his game in 6 of 13. Um, not too many assists, but looks like he's got a few rebounds, a couple of steals. So kind of need John Wall to sort of take, take the ball into his hands, really. So yeah, it looks like we had a really good second quarter there. And like I said, Randall and John Wall sort of the players of the game so far. So let's go back into the, uh, the second half. Let's see if we can keep this lead up and uh, try and shut Utah down and sort of get away opening night with a win, which would be a really, really good start. Noel seems to have had a fairly good start as well. Six rebounds, uh, six points as well. A couple of blocks, which is good. There may be an argument possibly that we, um, we look to bring Gobert off the bench because he might have a little bit more of a advantage against um, some of the bench guys he's obviously a really, really good defensive player and perhaps we play Noel a little bit more at the centre position perhaps the same we'll see we'll see how the sort of first start of the season goes first few months and then we'll sort of make a decision there but it looks like we're sort of blowing this one out hopefully we sort of stretched our lead out nicely here to uh, 15 points or so which is really good Ingram having a really good shooting night 6 of 8 19 points a um, couple of rebounds as well, which is really good to see. So let's see if we can sort of hold this on, really. Um, looks like, yeah, looks like we've sort of managed to, like I said, McCall, McConnell and uh, Watkins, we've we've managed to shoot, shut them down a little bit. It's just with Randall, we can just sort of hold him and, and sort of keep him at bay, really. doesn't look like much of uh, Utah's going to um, cause us too many threats. Interestingly, I've just noticed that Mozgov is on the bench for Utah, so... For those of you who've been following the series along, and we had him for a few seasons with that huge contract, <laughs> managed to finally ship him, I think, in the end. And uh, he's now ended up at Utah, and he's not even getting any minutes off the bench there. So, obviously, it's a bit of a, a sad story for him, really. Um, he, he was okay for us. I mean, he, he was one of those... I could, I, could com I could comfortably cope with him sort of playing 15 minutes off the bench, but um, anything more than that is kind of asking a little bit more from him. So yeah, it looks like we've stretched this one out here. Nice sort of 23 point lead now. With uh, Wall and uh, Ingram having some fantastic night again. Um, Wall started really, really cold this game, but it looks like he's brought it back with 23 points. Um, same with Ingram. Ingram's had a really good night shooting wise. 8 of 10, 23 points. And now it looks like we've got our bench in. Um, looks like we're playing Danny Green at point guard. Kirkland, Noel sort of playing some minutes as well. Um, it looks like we're just sort of going to be resting some people out here. It looks like hopefully we'll, we'll, we've blown this one out, and it looks like it's going to be a nice, comfortable first win on opening night for us, which is really good because, like I said, this is a team in, in Utah that we should be beating at home. Um, obviously, we need to try and build some momentum up for this season. The tough thing for us is obviously being in the West is that we're going to have to deal with the likes of of Golden State, who have that absolute power force um, starting five. Um, we got a little bit lucky last year obviously like I've mentioned a few times before um, Durant was uh, was out injured and uh, we managed to sneak past them but we can't rely on, on them having star players injured all the time we'll obviously have to try and find a little bit of a um, advantage against them unfortunately one of the advantages we kind of thought we would have had would have been in the front court position but they've obviously tidied that up over the past off season so we'll have to sort of rethink that but Hopefully we can sort of match up well against them if we do get them in the playoffs. Obviously that's a long way off now, but um, it's just an opening night. Fourth quarter now, we're sort of 
blown this one out. Looks like, yeah, completing our benches in now. Playing some garbage minutes with Goldlock, Rivers, Carroll, Kirkland and Gasol. Getting some minutes in here, so that's that's good to see that um, Kirkland is sort of getting some garbage time minutes at least because we kind of want him to develop a little bit more. Just looking down the bench here, it looks like Noel's had a fairly solid night. He shot 50%, 14 points, 10 rebounds and a couple of blocks and four steals, which is really good. So that's all nice to see. Gobert kind of had a bit of a disappointing night. I mean, two, two or three shooting. I'm not too worried about his shooting. It's just I expect him to grab more rebounds and blocds. And five rebounds is, is not particularly great. But that may be due because we've got Noel there as well. So he's dominated. And we've kind of finished this game. Nice little blowout win here. Held them to 73 points, which is really, really good. Um, us sort of grabbing 100 points and, and win this one quite comfortably, really. So i would be interested to see who the player of the game is because um, my initial thoughts are that it probably is going to go to Wall, but I'd have been surprised if it wasn't Ingram. Yeah, so it's gone to John Wall. A uh, good start, solid start for him. That's really, really good to see. And really, really good start for us this, in this season. Just jump back to the uh, the main screen, and we'll sort of probably uh, we've got a little bit of time. We'll probably sim through the opening month here, see how we get on. Just wanted to play the opening night, really. But a good start, a really good start for us. So obviously, open night, we got that that win. Looks like yeah, looks like Detroit lost to Chicago, and Cleveland lost to Toronto in their opening games as well. So we'll just sim through a, a few games here. Probably just the opening month um, for the rest of this episode, and then what I'll probably do is for the uh, the remaining um, up until probably the Christmas break, I'll probably send that outside of the episodes, and then we'll we'll come back like we usually do and just do a little bit of a, a review. So it looks like we got a good win here against um, Sacramento as well. John Wall having a really good game as well again. Um, that's that's really good. Good start for us. Sacramento, another team that we should be beating. Um, they're probably not going to be a playoff team, so that's good to see. Um, got sort of a day's break here it looks like Golden State winning there first few games it looks like so there's no surprise there um, so next game up against Portland who are 1-1 one and one. hopefully we can snag a win there as well I think we've gone 2-1 and yeah so it looks like we've lost to Portland Portland are going to obviously be a playoff hopeful team and um, they've got some good players in, in likes of Lillard and uh, McCollum, who's had a fantastic night, he's got 44 points against Danny Green. So this is why I think we need to try and address that shooting guard um, position sort of nearer towards the trade deadline. We'll see how it goes, but we need to get someone with a little bit more ability in there um, rather than relying on someone who's a, a minimum salary guy, really. So um, if we can probably address that, we probably have a really, really good starting five, though. So, you know, it's not, not the, uh, the worst case situation. Just hopefully we can... Uh, Perhaps see if we can get a package to get someone in there. Um, perhaps another, just a solid, solid starter really is what we need. Um, so yeah, we've won our next game. I think we played Sacramento again. Yeah, so we played Sacramento again quite early on. It's good to see us getting some couple of wins against the teams that probably aren't going to be on the playoffs anyway. So it looks like we're not playing this this week, this day. So we'll, we'll go to the next day. Good three and one start though. That's that's promising. I mean, we'd lost to Portland, so we were disappointing. But you know, if you know Portland are going to be there or thereabouts anyway. No game for us again. So we've got looks like it's San Antonio next. They were three and three surprisingly. Um, Looks like we've managed to get a win against them. I'm surprised because I expect them to, to kind of do a little bit better. They've obviously been aging recently, but they've still got um, Leonard, who, who kind of didn't get that many shots in. They've managed to get Parsons as well. Still playing Darren Williams, though. So, again, John Wall having a really good game, so that's really good to see. Danny Green only lost him 19 minutes, though, before foul trouble. So, you know, like I said, that's probably something we need to address. Paul Gasol had a really good game as well though, look, 6 of 14, 
Looks like we managed to uh, we managed to play some really good defence, which is really good to see as well because we have got some really good defensive players now. Even though I picked them up on sort of minimum salaries, they you know they should hopefully be good defenders anyway. Probably not going to be the best shooting team in the league, but hopefully we've got some depth um, that we can throw people in there, and then we're not going to get too um, not going to get too drawn out. So it looks like we've got Houston next, who've had a really good start as well. 4-2, that's going to be a tough game for us. It looks like we've dropped down to 4-2 and two and lost to Houston as well. And a close game, it looks like, just by 8 points. Yeah, James Harden, again, matched up against uh, Green, um, having a really good night. So perhaps that's something we'll have to think about um, before sort of Christmas sort of time. Um, we'll see who's available. Um, looks like we're up against um, Condors. Is that New Orleans? I think that's New Orleans. Uh, so we've dropped to four and three now. Bit of a disappointment on that one. I kind of would expect us to beat New Orleans, even though they've still got um, Anthony Davis, but looks like he had a really good game. Yeah. Okay, so sort of initial start has been promising, but then we've just dropped two games, which has kind of thrown us back in there, into the mix of things, really. So a tough game against Indiana next. Hopefully we can get the win. Yeah, so we got a nice win there, which is really good. And interesting, Golden State lost to the Clippers. That's interesting. So, yeah, look, we're playing some good defence again here, holding them out, um, which is good. Yeah, really, really good. Hopefully we can keep that defensive presence going. Okay, so no game again. So we'll just go to the end of November and then we'll perhaps have a little look, see how, how we've been doing. One of the things we haven't looked at for a little while is the lineups, so and I'll explain that when we get there. Um, another game against Chicago, hopefully we can get the win there. Yeah, a good win against Chicago. Playing some really good defence, so holding them 74 points. That's really, really good. Yeah, look at that, holding them to this 37% shooting. That's great. Good start. I mean, I kind of expect us when we play some of the Eastern teams, apart from probably Philadelphia um, and possibly Milwaukee, I kind of expect us to beat most of the Eastern teams. It's definitely the weaker conference in this playthrough. Uh, look, tough game now against Golden State. Can we make an early impression? No, we can't. <laughs> tough though, we did hold them to 94 points. We did only lose by five. We didn't shoot particularly well, which is probably the main issue here. Um, yeah, I mean, Gobert and Noel just grabbing 29 rebounds between them, which is great. But we kind of, obviously, one of the things we'll need to address, it looks like Curry had a really good night, 37 points. Um, kind of expect us to lose that one, though. So we go back into the next game against Portland. Can we get revenge back on them? Yes, we can. So that's really good. 7-4 start, though, for opening month, which is great. I held them 74 points, look at that. Obviously playing some really, really good defence. Holding them to 39%. That's brilliant. Ingram having a good game there as well. So we're coming towards sort of the end of this month. Tough game next against the LA Anchors or Clippers. Who had a, had a good start. We managed to get the win there as well, which is really good so we're 8 and 4 at the moment which is really really good start next game against Philadelphia so this is a game I don't expect us to win because Philadelphia have got a really good match up against us yeah so we lost that one yeah they're just going to dominate us inside, absolutely. Ben Simmons with 41 points. Crazy, crazy. We just can't compete with that. Um, no game for us again here. But, you know, I'll, just, I'll take an 8 and 5 start. I mean, probably one of those games was disappointing because I'd expect to beat New Orleans. But the other games, I mean, Portland's very similarly matched up against us. And uh, Golden State and Philadelphia, games that I kind of expect us to lose. So. Not too bad a start, um, you know, kind of where I would expect us to be on, on the opening month. OK, 
Okay, so we've got Houston next. We kind of ended this month. Um, let's take a little look at the roster and uh, let's, let's have a look at standings first, actually, and see how we've been getting on. So looking at the West. So we're kind of in the middle of the pack of our, our division. Obviously, Philadelphia, Phoenix had a really good start. Um, in terms of the playoff picture, we're, we're sitting just in the eighth seed, which is surprising. I kind of would have expected to be a little bit higher, but a lot of the other guys have played more games than us. So, you know, looking at them, 15, 16 games, we've played sort of 13 or so. So kind of probably where we should be at the moment. So one of the things I wanted to have a little look at was um, in these, uh, where is it? I think it's in the depth chart, view lineups. So here you can sort of see who your best production lineups are, who your worst production lineups are, um, to see if you can kind of address that. So clearly our best lineup is our starting lineup, um, which is Gobert, Noel, Ingram, Green, and, and Wall, which is good. Um, in terms of our other better lineups, looks like. So this is our garbage lineup, so that's fine. I kind of expect that when we're sort of blowing teams out. But have we got any of those sort of really bad lineups that we're playing? So this one I don't think we're playing hardly at all. Let's look at minutes played actually. They're only really bad ones. So all hard away. It's interesting that one because really all we've done is taken out green and put in hard away. So surprising though, we kind of, that is uh, an issue. Perhaps that's something we'll have a look at in the depth chart. So if we're hard away, perhaps we drop him off of this lineup and put in um, Kirkland or or something and see if that helps um, yeah I mean Geeson's playing cent uh, sorry Gobert no it's, there's nothing else really so in, good to see that our, sort of our main rotation is, is sort of providing the most points and obviously playing the most amount of minutes in that um, this one I don't think we're playing that often so I'll have to have a look at that but overall not too bad not too bad to start um, let's take a little look at our our roster. So we've obviously got Johnson playing in the D League, so we won't talk about him. John Wall's had a good start, um, putting up some solid numbers. Goldlock's playing a little bit off the bench. Rivers hardly playing. Danny Green, what's his shooting numbers like? Has he been shooting okay? See, so yeah, he's been shooting fairly solidly. It's just, I think the issue with him is just his defence. We need to try and sort of um, see if we can get someone in who's just a little bit of a more talented player, really. Hardway's obviously putting up some stats. Ingram's had a really, really good start. Um, he's obviously had a bit bit of a jump in his points per game. Um, shooting really, really well. He's starting to come that make that extra step, which we kind of wanted, really. Let's have a little look at Kirkland. So he's, he's kind of playing a little bit more minutes. His shooting numbers aren't particularly great, but we know he's not a particularly great shooter. So we kind of, kind of expect that. Um, DeMar Carroll I don't think is playing hardly any minutes which is fine I mean no he probably can't I was just wondering whether he could perhaps play the shooting guard position he's probably a little bit too tall a bit too too big to play there Gobert's putting up the usual sort of numbers we kind of expect from him um, like I said we don't expect huge amounts of points we just expect blocks rebounds um, just to be a presence in there really let's have a little look at Noel so Noel's had a a solid start. I mean, nothing standing out too much. Perhaps we need to get these shooting percentages up a little bit more because he's taken a couple of wild jump shots. Perhaps. Um, wonder what his biography is like. So he's predominantly passing. When he's not, he's posting up. Looks like. Hmm. Interesting. So he seems to have a bit of mid range, but perhaps we need to get him to post up a little bit more. Um, Geeson's putting up some some okay stats. Gasol's doing a little bit of it, so not too bad, not too bad start. So I think we'll end the uh, the episode there, guys. Um, a good start, you know, in terms of numbers and things. We're you know in the HC kind of where the AI expected us to be, but we've we've had a solidish start. I mean, I think once we get backed up to balanced number of games against everyone else, we'll probably be in that six seed. I reckon a couple of positions above. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, I'm going to sort of just sim through probably December and January. We'll come back in sort of February time. We'll run through the All Star games probably um, and and sort of the trade deadline sort of recap and see see how we got on. Um, initial thoughts are probably going to try and make a move to get someone in who's a little bit better than Danny Green to play the two two position for us. 
Um, probably nothing drastic outside of that unless there's a star available that we could nick um, that would be fantastic but you know we can hope um, but I promise to start 8 and 5 start not too bad um, but as always guys if you've enjoyed the episode just hit that like button and you can always subscribe along and follow the uh, episodes as they come out as soon as they come out